This is NAB Show Live. For someone who doesn't, like myself, yeah. for someone who doesn't know what Magewell does, uh, what do they do? So Magewell's probably best known for their capture devices, which they've been selling for quite a few years and are very popular. But over the last couple of years, we've expanded what we do to include other workflow functions such as playout, streaming, and conversion. Why? Well, a lot of it comes down to the success and the reasons that people love Magewell products so much. Magewell came into the market, you know, there were lots of capture devices out there. But what they really were able to deliver is premium, uh, premium features at a price point that was a lot more accessible to people. And still back it up with the reliability. So they, you know, they fit squarely into that midpoint of the market. People could trust them, but they didn't have to spend you know, exorbitant amounts of money to be able to do that. And they did it by making the products very practical, where they focused on the features that users really needed, not a lot of the extra bells and whistles and that sort of thing that not a lot of people would use. So they gained such a great reputation for that, people were coming to us regularly saying, well, what if you did this and what if you did that? And we were really strategic about it, though. We didn't try to do everything, but we honed in on a few things that we really thought we could bring those same benefits and value to customers in the other areas. When there's a, a show like this where there's 1,700 or so vendors, um, and one or two probably do the same thing that Magewell does, yep. how do you try to stand out, or what brings people back to you? Well, again, a big part of it is that we've built up this tremendous reputation, word of mouth wise even, just again for delivering, sorry, delivering that value as well as the reliability and performance. And Magewell has always been really close in working with their partners. I mean, we do these devices that do capture and so forth, streaming and so on, but they also work with other people's software. So, you know, we've got about a couple of dozen partners here at the show who Magewell works closely with, so they're happy to tout our virtues as well. And that helps drive a lot of people to us. So, you know, we, that word of mouth really carries us a lot, and we stand by it. We deliver on what we're saying, so that keeps people coming back. You have new streams and new uh, products that are coming out with. What's, what is, uh, what's Magewell's baby? Like, what are you known for, for doing really well? Well, I mean, we're known for doing the capture products, but here at the show, the thing we're really focusing is on helping people make that transition to IP-based workflows. So, I mean, what I'm holding in my hand right now is one of our new NDI converter devices, and it takes traditional video streams, SDI, HDMI, and so forth, converts it into NDI streams. So if you're joining the IP revolution, you don't have to scrap all your old cameras, or when I say old, even a couple of years is old in this realm. You don't have to go buy a new camera with a network interface. You can buy, you can keep your old existing SDI camera, HDMI camera, switchers, that sort of thing. Just plug it in, plug this in between it, and you're immediately on the NDI media network in the IP world. So we launched the encoders for this a few months ago at IBC, and just this week we announced the new decoder model, which completes the chain. So you can take these NDI streams, hook them up to your existing monitors, projectors, other legacy equipment, or even just hook it up with an encoder to transport video, audio, and power over a single cable over a long distance. So that's brand new for the show. The IP-based technology has been talked about for quite a while, but it's taken quite a while for it to really become practical. And there's a couple of things. I mean, one is there were a lot of competing standards. SMPTE 2110 and NDI have really emerged as the one that people are latching onto, and this is an NDI product. And the other thing is, how can people affordably get into this realm? And that's where we saw that one of the impediments was people didn't want to have to go buy new IP-enabled cameras, switchers, and so forth, that by being able to let them use their existing equipment investments, this could actually help them move into that world. Well, it's not just moderately priced. If you compare the fact that you just plug a small, you know, relatively affordable conversion box in instead of buying a whole new camera, I mean, there's orders of magnitude of cost savings here.